Breaking, Clinton's sex accuser announces her plan, please listen. One of the former president many supposed victims is coming out, and is choosing to share her story with the public. Juanita Broderick announced that she was writing a book concerning her rape allegations against former President Bill Clinton, according to the Daily Caller. The book, titled You Better Put Some Ice on That, gets its name sick from what Ms. Broderick claimed Mr. Clinton told her after he supposedly abused her in an Arkansas hotel room in 1978. How I Survived Being Raped by Bill Clinton is the subtitle of the book. The time has come for me to talk about my life and abuse in full, Ms. Broderick tweeted. I am working on a book with journalist Nick Lully to set the record straight on what Bill Clinton did to me. I was 35 years old when Bill Clinton, ARC Attorney General raped me and Hillary tried to silence me. I am now 73 it never goes away, she added, mentioning that this is the part that always stays in my mind the way he put on his sunglasses, in her interview with the Wall Street Journal in 1999. Then he looked at me and said you better put some ice on that. Then he left. In interviews, Ms. Broderick said she first met Bill Clinton, who was the Arkansas Attorney General at the time. In 1978 he made a campaign stop at the nursing home she worked in. According to the Washington Post Mississippi Broderick set up a coffee meeting with Mr. Clinton at her hotel after the latter had encouraged her to call his campaign office when she was in Little Rock. According to Ms. Broderick, Bill Clinton told her that there were too many reporters in the hotel, and that they should have coffee in his room instead. From there, the Post reports that she resisted his advances, she said but soon he pulled her back onto the bed and forcibly had sex with her. She said she did not scream because everything happened so quickly. Her upper lip was bruised and swollen after the encounter because, she said, he had grabbed onto it with his mouth. Ms. Broderick alleged that shortly after the supposed incident, she was approached by Hillary Clinton at a fundraiser, who pressured her to stay silent about the matter. She pulls me into her and that very sweet voice fades to a very angry voice, a very low voice and she pulls me close to her, and she says, Oh you understand everything you do? Ms. Clinton said, according to Time magazine, I felt like in that moment she knew everything and was saying you better keep quiet, she added. During Mr. Trump presidential campaign, he made it a point to bring up the alleged victims of the former president often. I hope Bill Clinton starts talking about women issues so that voters can see what a hypocrite he is and how Hillary abused those women. He tweeted early in 2016. Ms. Broderick had personally spoken out against Hillary Clinton throughout the 2016 election, offering her personal tale as a reason why she could not be trusted to run the country. Hopefully, this brave woman will serve as an example for countless others who have allegedly been sexually abused by those in power.